Hey guys, welcome to PA Outdoors. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to take care of baby chicks. Cause I think I'm gonna get some today. Oh, hold on, sorry. To close up the gate in the chicken pen here. We got... But first things first, gotta open up that coop. So. One, two, three, four. You guys may have known I used to have five, but one of them died unexpectedly. So I think I'm gonna get 10 more. I haven't shown you the new pen because they wouldn't all fit in this, but look at this. Big new pen. Looks pretty good. This one's already having fun. All right, so anyways. I'm a little bit worried with the chicks getting too cold because it was cold enough to freeze the water overnight. This is luckily this is not the, my chicken's main water. Their main water is heated, so that's good. <clears throat> but I'll just have to keep the heat lamp beside of the <clears throat> water so it doesn't freeze. One problem I have with this is they can get under that. My dog Lexi already slipped under it a couple times, so I had to put a block there. And uh, I have to get some stakes to stake it down, and then it should be good. But it does look pretty empty in here with only four chickens, so I think I'm gonna get 10 more, and that'll be 14 in case one of them, or in case a couple of them don't make it. That way, I'll still have around a dozen, so. You may notice there's still some junk in here, like wood. I'm letting them scratch all that up to, so it's easier to get, so they get some of the other stuff too. I'll just throw it outside the pen. But, as you can see, something could fit under there. So I need to get some stakes, stake that down. Oh, there's an old corn cob, I don't know what that's from. But. Anyways, I'm probably gonna go and get the brooder box set up where the chickens will stay so we'll see you then so now comes the hard part got to get all this off of there to get this box out so i got this for my friend i think it's used for shipping like train parts i forget what it what uh parts but it's like something uh not the axle axle it's not that small but gonna get all this stuff moved. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. Set all these chairs. So I've got I'm gonna put this bull skull up somewhere. Uh, on the outside of this. But uh I might see a mouse when I'm moving this around. So I'm just gonna get all this stuff off. Use this last time to hold the heat lamp but I have another idea I'm gonna use for this time. Okay, got everything off top. Okay, got everything off the top, and now I'm gonna get these car tires out. Probably some move them out, put them back in the same spot, so see when I get this thing out. Alright, so we got this box into place. I just need, for me at least, I just need to be able to access the chicken stuff. But, uh, anyways, I'm gonna set up, put together some of the stuff. So. This is the water, just a little tiny one. So, I'm gonna make something so it's a little bit elevated so they don't get wood chips in it. I don't know if I'll film that because it probably won't be today. And, uh, got this feeder. You might see automatic feeders. I just picked this one up last year. And then I got the heat lamp. So, yeah, I'm going to get that all that set up and I'll show you. Uh, all right, guys, I got it set up. I'm going to have the heat lamp shining down in this area. Food and water is over here. I'll have this all filled up with pine shavings. And then I'm going to put something over that hole. But, Anyways, I might show a little bit more around the chicken pen and then see you guys. 
you guys when I get the chicks. So I'm on the outside of the new part of the chicken pen, and this is probably double, just this itself is probably double the size of the old one, so that's always good. I don't know where the other chicken is. I'm gonna go find them. I mean, but she could be laying an egg. Feeling she's in the coop. But. Yep. The nesting box. Spray can't see it. Spray laying an egg. Or did has laying on it. So quiet. I don't like see to get in. Oh, well, just came out. We'll see. Yep, there's an egg. Those golf balls are in there, so that way they know to um, lay in the nest boxes. They're doing pretty good with it. So sometimes one lays. Oops, sorry. Lays over there. Yeah, I just got them laying an egg. Uh, it's pretty cold, so I think I'm going to collect it right now. Also, just to show you guys. Uh, that chicken's big, fluffy chicken, so. If you guys have any names for them, you can pick them out, because they don't really have names. Except for the speckled one, that's for sure, so. But other than that... Not that the kind of hinges I have on here still uh, kind of leave it open, but yeah, this is still warm. Pretty good size egg. So, gonna get this closed. And latched up. I'll try to film at the stores. I'll show you guys what I'm getting, but if I don't film there, I'll see if this. Yeah, this is already starting to freeze over again, so. No, you can't come in. But anyways, I went off topic, but try to film out the stores. If I don't, I'll just show you what I got back here. See you guys when I get the chicks. All right, guys, back with the chicks. Uh, I'll show you what I got here. Got four Easter eggers right there. Got these ones from Tractor Supply. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around real quick. But All right, guys, so these are Easter Eggers. Got these from Tractor Supply. This one right there. In total, I got 11 chicks. Another one, two lighter colored ones. Then I got two darker ones. And then there's two lighters right there and right there. Another one. I've always wanted Easter Eggers. I think they're called Americanos too. Cool. Then I got seven in here, so I got 11 chicks in total. These ones from Royal King. I think this is an Amber Link. Amber Link chick. It's another one. Then, these ones I'm not really sure. It's either a gold lace wine dot or silver. I think it's gold. Okay. Gonna get the other one. Another gold wine dot. Then I got three. Oh, I forget what they're called, but sapphire gem. Two more. Yeah. There's, there's, there's four. These ones got feed right there and water. So, got the heat lamp shining down. That should be warm enough. Worked last time. I'm going to try to get this one over with the others. These ones are a lot smaller. I like these. But, uh, let me show you what else I got. I got these are for my bigger chickens this, then I got some mealworms, then I got some shit grit for them, then you always got to get the flake beddings, make sure you get flake because the fine, there can be dust, 
Then I got this Neutrino Chick Starter and Grower. But I think I'm actually gonna cut out this little door with this big chicken coming out so they can have a little house or something, but I'm not gonna do that on video. I'm just gonna end the video. It's getting a little long, I think, so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.